Alright everyone, this is a tutorial on the Imperial Gazanti class cruiser from Star Wars Rebels. There is a Mandalorian version as well, however that will come at a later date in a separate video. It'll just be a uh, modification of this one. But yes, for now it's just the Rebels model. This one in particular has the ability to carry the 1 to 1 scale TIE Fighter from somewhere over there. We've done it before in a separate video. Four of those on these leg prong things. There's no landing gear, however you can extend these leg prongs to make them into landing gear alongside this uh, turret on the back which sort of just it props up on basically. If you are going to add the TIE Fighters I would recommend basically doing this thing in the air um, a fair amount of meters off the ground so that the TIE Fighters don't sort of drag along on the bottom. But yes, it can just clip into these these blocks here. Um, you've got the three central sphere blocks. This is three in the middle there and then three uh, blocks on the on the bottom of these prongs, which is which is nice, uh, works out well. Uh, what else? What else? There's a small interior on this. It's just the cockpit. Um, you can see clone five four three sat in there now. Two seats um, in there. I think I think it's two anyway. And there's a radar dish here, as well as another turret on top that mirrors the one down at the bottom, and one engine here, and then two larger ones on the wings. It's a very interesting ship. I think it was. First in, uh, I don't want to say this wrong, a, a kind of variant of this appeared in, I think it was the Phantom Menace, and then it later appeared as an Imperial ship in uh, Rebels, but it was also in the Clone Wars very briefly as well, I think. Um, and then there's a load of other places that it was as well, but yeah, whatever. Um, there's a load of variants of the Gazanti as well, obviously we've mentioned the, the Mandalorian model already, which is essentially closest to the Imperial one, but it lacks the TIE Fighter tubes down there, and it also has landing gear. One there, and then there's also two here and here as well, which I haven't added yet on this model, because uh, this one isn't done yet. The turrets are a different style, and there is a... got that turret there. This one is gone. There's not a turret here from what I can see. And then also there's another turret added there, which is a different style to that one. Um, and this one also has like walkways up here as well, which is, which is good. But again, that one's not finished. Um, but yeah, there's also way more <laughs> Gazantes. There's another one which has like massive armor plating on the front. And uh, makes it about, I can't remember how much longer it makes it, but it's a fair amount. And um, there's the Separatist version of this, which is, uh, I can't remember which model that is, but yeah, essentially it's under the Separatist uh, control. There's the surveillance and model, model of this one which has like a giant dish on top uh, and there's yeah just loads of them so the rebels one is kind of the base the base model base form i'd say anyway with that let's get on to layer number one um and we'll be doing the the bottom of the feet and the turret and i think we do three layers in the first part actually which is uh, nice to get that out of the way but then this bit here is going to be a massive pain so yeah it will be a uh, probably a regular or even hard tutorial well, yes, let's get on to layer and section number one. Right, so in comparison to the rest of the build, the first layer is going to be pretty easy. And when I say first layer, I mean first section. I'm just so used to saying it. Um, but you'll you'll have to bear with me with that. Um, building towards purple and green crystals as, as per usual. As I mention every single video for the last, like, three months. That's basically what we do. Purple and green. That's going to be the front. You can see these materials for the first three layers, I think, is what we do. Yeah, three layers. It's going to be polished andesite, science terracotta, uh, stone brick stair, stone brick slab, stone slab, polished andesite slab, smooth stone slab, andesite wall, and then a temporary block. The temporary block is going to be really important, so uh, make sure make sure you uh, keep an eye on what we're doing. We also will need stone brick wall, uh, dark oak fence gate, and end rod. Yeah, I think it's those three that we need. Uh, we also need a block of smooth stone, but we'll we'll do that eventually. What I'm going to do first of all is actually start on the third layer, which is going to be this one up here. So that's three up. Again, if you want to add this TIE Fighters underneath, which I'm not doing today, but um, I, I would recommend it, it, doing it because it looks good. <laughs> it looks better uh, with the TIE Fighters than without. Um, build higher up, like probably 15, 16 blocks up, something like that. Or if you want to build it in space, go for it. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend doing that. So this is the third layer. We're going to knock out the third one and do polished on site in a cross shape, just like that. And then take the stone slab and surround it uh, on the corners like that. Again, that's the front here, uh, remember that. 
and the site wall one two three and four and then basically we'll build on this afterwards um i'll come back to it take a line wall one skip one one skip one one uh, and just keep doing that until you get five um blocks in total three stone brick slabs here one on the front and then three here one on the front and then on the front side only fa facing towards those two crystals it's going to be a uh, smoke uh, no it's going to be a normal stone slab there we go then again on this side one two three four and five and then we did uh, what was it yeah so on these these three here one two three one two three one there one there and then a stone slab so that's basically the underside of those side engines where the wings are which is good that's like pretty much the entire width of the thing take the line wall temporary block again one uh, just there and then we're going to do two three four five six just need to count them one two three four five six seven eight. so do eight in total so six seven eight so this is the eight one and then it's going to be a set of three and then one there so you make a cross shape go out by two here and then out by two here so you should get that do a gap of one one again one again one again just like that so it should be four then we're going to do another gap and then this time it's going to be two so like that okay we're going to do the front start off with polished on site slab one two three these are all top half by the way four stone brick slabs four again and then four smooth stone slabs like that take the polished on site slab three there and three here so that's a gap of one between that part and that part and then a gap of one again three and three should leave you with this singular block here and then the cross shape just like that and the site wall there and then we're going to do a cyan and the site wall surrounding it do a, another uh, I actually could do a polished andesite slab in the middle but I, I'm going to have to do uh, cyan there and then surround it with stairs and then replace that with a polished andesite and then a stair there as well so the TIE fighter top will literally just well, theoretically, it would just slip into there, but um, because of the way that it works, you just basically have to uh, put the... Imagine this is the top ball of the TIE Fighter. Don't do this, by the way, but if that was the top of the TIE Fighter, it basically sits there like that. Um, but I suppose without the TIE Fighter, it looks better from underneath with the with the slab in there, but that's completely your choice. Otherwise, you can just leave it at the Cyan Terracotta. So, yeah. One there, surround it again with walls. And then this is going to be the stairs. Do the slab now. Two, oops, three, and four. And then the next one is going to be uh, over here. We're going to take our line wall again. Do one there, one there. So this is on the first section of three past the front. So uh, one there on either side, and then two, and two again. And then it do the exact same thing as what we've just done uh, but another two times so one two three four do this surround it with the stairs and replace that one with the polished underside slab and then again on this side but then yeah once we've done this it's basically going to be it for this layer we just need to do the uh, the underside of of that down there so if you can hear my computer fans by the way it's just suddenly absolutely gone mad and uh, sped up to an inappropriate speed but yeah there we go those are the four kind of docking tubes or at least the uh, the first part of it anyway coming back to here take a smooth stone full block um, which I can't seem to find there we go and it's gonna be one there take a stone brick wall there dark oak fence gate and then N rod, it's going to be two. And we've got a matching turret on the uh, top side, but obviously we'll get to that way later on. 
But yeah, that's going to be it for the first uh, three layers, which is a nice start. However, the next one is going to be an absolute stinker. So let's uh, crack on with that. Let's go. All right, starting off layer number, or se well, section number two, I suppose. Uh, it's going to be layer number four in total so far. We're going to go to here and basically keep the same materials. I've got polished andesite stone, sand terracotta, polished andesite stairs, stone brick slab, stone slab, polished andesite slab, smooth stone slab, and iron bars. That's a, uh, a new one, the iron bars, I think. Go to this block here and just do a single polished andesite, surround it by stone. There we go. Now you'll see that these slabs here obviously are sort of they don't look right per se, but that that is intentional. Don't worry, it's uh, it'll all make sense soon enough. Grab the polished andesite stairs, do one there and one here, and then two polished andesite slabs going off it, and again same there. Sugar that so far. Also take another uh, of these andesite walls. That's just going to go on the back here like that. Uh, what material did I just replace? It was the stairs, wasn't it? There we go. Take the stone block and do one there and one here. And then we're going to take our... Hmm, how am I best going to do this? Let's do two stone slabs here to begin with. And again, just there like that. Another two. Um, and then do another two for good measure. Uh, so that's a two by three in total, just like that. With the stone slabs. Take smooth stone, two two and then two more stone ones two stone ones uh, and then leave the middle blank apart from one thing which is going to be a andesite wall there as well okay so you should get that so far now i'm trying to best work out how to do this uh, i suppose we do all of one material at a time that could that could work so if we do a two by three with the smooth stone like that and then what you're going to do is go out on these two here. So like that. And then do four in total. Same again on that side. And then we're going to diagonal inwards. Do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I guess we'll leave it there for that material now. Take your stone brick slabs. And we're going to do one, two, three, four five six one two three four five six and then on the inside here where the smooth stone is that we did before one two three four five six seven and again one two three four five six seven and then also two here and two here next to those smooth stone slabs and then the rest is just going to be normal stone so one two three four one two three four then on the outside here, it's going to be one, two, three, four. Oops. Uh, and then three there like that. Uh, same again here. So should get that so far. Do another three stone there. Another three stone there. Again. Single slab on either side, just there like that. And then take the smooth stone slab again and do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then take the stone slab, one here, one here. And then three, three. And then it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way across. And then two, skip one, three, skip one, two. Stone brick slab there, stone brick slab there. Now next up we're going to take our stone slabs on the outside layer and just do one there like that. And then again on this side, three stone brick slabs, three again, and then five stone slabs, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then do a stone slab inwards, inwards, and then five polished andesite in a row like that. Okay, take the stone block, and we're going to do a 5 by 4 And it should essentially cover up everything that we did from the first layer, so there we go. Take the stone again, one here, one here, and then cyan terracotta, three, three again. And then a polished on site stairs, one and two, one and two. 
My voice is dying, by the way. <laughs> Three. And then a sign in the middle there like that. Take your polish down a sight again. This is really dragging on, by the way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then four sign terracotta. Actually, replace that last one with a stone. Uh, and then two sign there as well. Two stone. And then... I'm not sure what that is, actually. That's that's annoying. Um, oh, I think it's a, it's a stair. It's a stone stair. So grab... Grab the stone stair, there we go. And that goes on the front like that. And then take the smooth stone slabs, one, two, three, on the front, and then uh, iron trap door right on the front there like that. Uh, grab the, so we come back to here, stone stairs again, one, two, skip two, and then do one, and then a stone slab. And then again on this side, two, you skip those two, but then put polished and side stairs in that gap. So there we go. Uh, coming back to here now, if we go to the stone brick slabs, do one there. One here as well. Um, and you can kind of see the gap we're leaving is above these slabs that we did last layer. We just need to do another stone brick slab there and there. And then a polished and side block in the middle. Stair here. Stair here, stone slab there, stone slab there. I'm going to take our polished andesite stairs and do three. Three here as well. Three here as well. And then three on this side. And then we're going to take our stone and just bring this to uh, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Uh, one there, one there. Two, two, one there. And then the same again. So you should get that. Uh, take your polished on site, do a row all the way across. Should be, uh, how many is it in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that lines up with my model, that's good. Uh, take your stairs again, polished on the site, one there and one here. And then finally in this gap, it's just gonna be a smooth stone slab. Now you've got these four gaps. I'm gonna take a uh, chiseled stone brick that's going to go in the gaps here. And there we go. That's it for the main body. There is a little bit more to do. Uh, do another sign on top of the one we did before. And then we're going to take those iron bars now, which I've just thrown away, typically. One, two, three, four. Four. And then again on these ones. There we are. Then coming back to here, we just need to do a little bit on this engine section. So we're going to take our cyan terracotta now, and these line up with these two blocks here. So three and three. And it's going to be three polished andesite. Stair there. Stair there. Cyan there, cyan here, and then a stone brick slab in the middle. Uh, on this bit here, it's going to be polished andesite on either side. Uh, stair there, that's andesite facing sideways, sideways again. Corner stair for stone, stone again. Polished andesite slab uh, past that. Have I got a polished andesite slab? Huh, I thought I had. Um, never mind, I'll grab one from here. And that's going to go just there and there. And then with your stone, one, two, three. Stone stairs here, and then a stone slab. Finally, on this outside bit, it's going to be polished andesite stair on that cyan. Corner one here. And there as well. And what I'm going to do is quickly just speed this last bit up just so it's out of the way. So essentially mirroring that onto here. So let's uh, quickly do that. And with that, that's going to be it for the uh, second section. So let's go on to the third one. All right, for the next layer up, I've grabbed these materials. It's polished andesite, stone, siren terracotta, gray concrete, stone stairs, stone slab, stone brick slab, smooth stone slab, and polished andesite slab. 
I'm going to go to this section here, take the stone block and just do a circle around it like that with a polished andesite there in the middle. That's going to be like our starting point and then we're going to take a stone stair and just do one facing towards the stone blocks that we just made so you should get a tiny little gap there. Then take a stone block, we're going to do one, two polished andesite, one stone and then three smooth stone slabs. That's the start of the uh, the kind of underside of the middle engine, so yeah, that's that's what that is. If we go back to here now, take the cyan terracotta and we go all the way across until we reach this sort of circular section. Uh, obviously, that's cut out of the previous layer. We're going to take our grey concrete and basically go over the gaps on the outside. So one there, three here, uh, one there, three here, and then just do that all the way around till you get that. From there, grab your uh, smooth stone slabs again. We're going to do another layer around the outside, just like that. These are all top half. And then we're going to do on the front and back, one here and one here. And then the rest is going to be stone brick slabs. So you should essentially get that. Now, if we take our slabs exclusively now, we need all of these. Um, and we're going to do... Hmm, I guess we'll do all the materials at once again. So I'm going to start with our smooth stone slabs. I'm going to go to this diagonal one here. Um, obviously, if we look from above, that's the front up there. Um, so it's this one. And we're going to go out by two. And then in a diagonal, it's going to be uh, one, two, and three smooth stone slabs. And then if we take our smooth stone full block, replacing the grey concrete, uh, grab that, there we go. I'm going to do one. Uh, oh, actually, no, it's not. It's not full blocks there, is it? No, ignore me. Ignore that bit. <laughs> so three slabs there. We're going to go to, uh, let's say, this one here. And again, one, two, three. This time it's going to be towards that one, leaving a two gap between the two. Leave a gap of four. One, two, three, four. And then do another three. And over on this side, oh, that's quite a lot of uh, blocks away. We'll come back to that in a, in a minute. Um, if you take your polished andesite slabs now, we'll get those out of the way. Uh, we're going to start off by doing, let's see, so they're basically there, one, two, three, and four. And then if we go back to these uh, smooth stone ones, there's three here and it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. That's off offset by one. And then again five and again offset by one, so it should look like that. Take the stone brick slabs this time, and we're going to do one, two, three, four, and then one down, and then one to the side. That's in that gap there. Over here, it's going to be a stone brick slab there. Two here, two here, and then two off to the side like that. Uh, do another stone brick slab there. Skip two, and another stone brick slab. Then we come back to the polished andesite ones. One two, three, and then five to the side, one, two, three, four, five, makes six in total. Uh, skip to here and do two, and then one to the side like that. And then take the smooth, uh, smooth stone slab, one, two, and three. And then just for good measure, three stone blocks here, three stone slabs there like that. Okay. So to uh, fill in these gaps, this is I think all going to be stone slabs now. So one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Over here, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Then at the back here, it's going to be a full block of stone. Uh, this is going to be two polished andesite slabs. And this one, I think, is a polished andesite block. So that's there like that. So you should have this so far. What we're essentially doing is uh, building up the bottom side of the wings here, um, which will eventually lead us to our sort of sandwich layer, um, eventually. Take the cyan terracotta, and we're going to do two, 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 so five in total. Full block of polished, full block of polished, and then next to it, cyan, cyan. This is going to be a uh, polished andesite stair. We can grab one of those, there we go. In there, just here and here. And then this is just going to be a 
light blue stained glass. There we go. Okay, and then throw that away. Um, I don't know if there's meant to be a sea lantern here, but I'm assuming we'll see in a minute uh, when we get onto the next layer. But whatever. Grab the stone brick wall now. Um, grab one from down here, save a bit of time. Not really. There we go. One there and one here as well. Uh, oh no, sorry, that's on the polished underside, not the cyan. There we go. So just like that. Uh, take two polished underside full blocks, one and. Or is it two? No, it's one there and one there. And then it's going to be a polished underside stair here and here. And then a normal stone stair upside down there and there. And then a corner stone stair here and here. Then take the cyan terracotta once more. This is going to be one here and one there with the cyan. Polished andesite there and there. Then in this gap here, I've got a... I think it's a dropper from what I can see. So we've placed that there. We've essentially got kind of half grey, half sort of light grey. And that's what it should look like on the reference model as well, I think. Uh, finally, take your... Well, not finally, but for that section, finally. Take your polished andesite stairs here and there as well. And then iron trap door is going to go... Uh, in front of that. Have I used Iron Trap Door this build? I feel like I have. I don't remember where. Uh, hmm, I don't know. I thought I used it earlier. But yeah, that's going to go essentially just in that gap between the two. Like that. Okay. So you should have that so far. Now, if you couldn't tell already, I'm probably going to be doing only half of this layer and then mirroring over off camera. Because it is going to... These three layers, so the underside of the sandwich the middle of the sandwich and the, the top sort of wing probably is going to be the most difficult part of the build but then at a certain point afterwards I will start resuming doing uh, all the way across because it does get easier towards the top it's just these middle ones it always is with pretty much every single build so sadly that's just how it is um right so now that we're here if we go to I'm trying to think of the best way to do this take smooth stone slab and do top half this time, one, two, and three, like that, and then one to the side. Uh, take the stone slabs, these are all top half by the way, past this point is all top half for the rest of this layer. So if we take stone slabs two, two, and then one, two smooth stone, two polished underside, um, do one smooth stone slab here, two polished, one smooth stone. And then this is going to be all normal stone, like that. Also do one, two, three, four, five, six normal stone slabs outwards there, like that. And then a two by two. Uh, two smooth stone here. And then to the side by three to make four in total. And then three polished underside slabs as well. Do a stone slab here. Three smooth stone. And then take the polished andesite slabs and do two. We finish off this inside bit here. So we've got the... Uh, actually, it's just stone. It's literally all just stone across here. So that's uh, kind of easy. There we go. Uh, for this outside bit, let's go to where we left off just here. So it's going to be stone one, two, three, and four. Three smooth stone. And then we have a bit of a, t a pattern here. So if we go to a diagonal, do three smooth stone again. And again, three, and again, three, and then again, one. I'm just checking I've done it right so far. Um, yeah, it looks like it. So it's just one more set of three here, two, three. There we go. Should take you up to the first block of the cyan there. Take the polished on site slabs, one, two, and three here. Um, one's going to go there like that. This is going to be a smooth stone slab just there, two polished andesite here, then the rest in this section is going to be stone up to there, there we go and then we come to this back section here uh, again one, two, three three, this is all normal stone by the way, three, three and then back to here, three uh, this is going to be two stone brick slab there and then outwards by one and then three stone brick slabs here and then that 
I think my voice literally is going is, is it for that <coughs> back section. Wow, that was a lot of talking. Um, we still need to do the front section there. Uh, so grab the grey concrete. My eyes are actually crying. Three and then forward. It's going to be oh god, I can't even count that. Uh, let's see if I can do this. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five, and then it's going to be another eight. So that should be 13 in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, take the polished andesite, and we're going to do the last eight that we did, leaving the five there. Uh, and then two full smooth stone blocks. There we go. Two andesite walls. And then stone block. One, two, bring that across. I'm going to do it on the other side as well. And then stone slab three, one iron trap door. And then just for some details here, it's going to be, uh, God, I'm dying. <laughs> Grindstone, one and, I did them sideways actually, one and two. So this is part of the, the detail um, section. Anvil in the middle, and then I just used a andesite wall there and then three skeleton skulls on either side. So there we go, just like that. Now, um, once you've done that, that is, I think, going to be it for that layer. Uh, I think, have I? can't tell if I put that one short, because um, obviously I don't want to... I'm going to double check. Yeah, I think it's meant to be three full blocks, and then the stone slabs. Um, I'm going to double check it on my reference model in a minute as well, just to make sure. But And then the iron trap door. There we go. So yeah, copy that all over. Um, oh, actually, I've missed a bit here, haven't I? Uh, grab the sign terracotta and then just do three here, and it's just, it's not very hard to fix. Two anvils there, and then a andesite wall. And then, yeah, I think that's that's everything. So let's move on to the next layer, make sure to get that all copied over, and obviously there's timestamps on the video, so you can always just jump back to uh, the, the start of the previous layer, essentially. So yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's crack on with the next bit. Okay, so we're now on like the, the sandwich layer, which is very cool. Um, the sandwich layer is essentially that sort of middle slice where all the juicy detail is on a lot of Star Wars builds. Like This happens a lot. The Falcon has it, the Ghost has it, you can't see him from here, but whatever. Uh, the Star Destroyer has it, this has it, um, literally most things you can think of probably have something like that. So yeah, uh, probably one of my favourite layers to be honest, the sandwich layer. <laughs> Start off with these material, stone, polished on the site, sand, terracotta, grey concrete, stone stairs, stone brick wall, stone slab, smooth stone slab and stone brick slab. I'm going to do three stone brick walls in a row like this. And then take the grey concrete and do three. And then three more stone brick walls on either side. There we go. I'm getting that annoying double click issue now as well. That's fun. Uh, three grey concrete here and here as well. And then take the stone stairs and we're going to do two of those on either side. Now take stone brick full block. I'm going to replace the... Uh, I'm going to replace the cyan for now. I know I said use it, but um, that's further on at the back. So yeah, take stone bricks. Three here. Three here. Skip one and do two more. Oops. And then skip one and do two more there as well. And then just use uh, polished andesite stairs real quick here and here. And then uh, I don't think you really need the stone stairs anyway. So just keep the mm, actually bringing back the cyan. Yeah, we'll we'll keep that in the inventory now. Now that we've got rid of those stairs. Uh, so you've got that so far. And then we're going to take our stone block, uh, stone slab. Sorry ignore me three of those three of those and again I'm just gonna be working on one side for this layer I'll see if I can potentially do a speed up for the other side but um, it may be a, a case of just copying over off camera uh, but again we'll see how long it takes gray concrete one two three four five six seven and then across here one two three four and five and then it's gonna be six seven eight do two there and then diagonal one, two, three, four, five, six. Diagonal two, uh, diagonal four, 
three, three again, three again, and just keep going essentially with threes uh, until you get to here and just do two. So it should be four and then four sets of three and then one set of two. Take the Siam, one, uh, three here, uh, two there, two there, two here, two here, two here. Um, and then three there. And then uh, it's going to be one, two, three, four, just there like that. Take a stone block, one there. And then three, one on the back here, three polished andesite, four stone, one stone brick wall. And then quickly just do a dark oak trap door there like that. Coming back to here now, take the polished andesite, one there, one there. And then blue stained glass, light blue, sorry. Uh, three of those, and then just do one on top. And what we're gonna do is just do another one on the front, and then two. This is uh, optional, by the way, for these uh, light blue stained glass panes, but two of those give kind of like an engine thrust, essentially. And now, yeah, what you essentially wanna do is knock these three out, one there as well. And I'm gonna take sea lantern and just get this out of the way. One, three there, and then one on top. Obviously that goes up to the next layer, but that's fine. I know it's there, so might as well do it. And essentially, yeah, that gives you your uh, your engine detail. And then just do another stone brick wall here and here, and then two around the sides, like that. Take the uh, and the side walls again. Grab those, and we're just going to do two there like that. And we're also going to do another one on this first set of three in the middle. Second set of three in the middle, third set of three in the middle, fourth set of three here, it's gonna be off to the right, here. Yeah. One there on the uh, third one of the set of four. Um, and then on this side, it's gonna be the second one on the set of six, and the fourth one. And then finally, just here on this very end one, like that, okay? Coming back to this bit here, grab the stone slab again. This is gonna go all the way across join up there and take the stone brick slab this is going to go all the way across however keep it one short just like that and then another two stone slabs there moving back to here take smooth stone slab one two three four stone brick slab one two and then to the side three four five smooth stone slab at one two and then to the side one and two and then just a double stone slab there like that okay uh, so the front's done, that's good. There's a, a little, little baby Yoda looking right at me. <laughs> Love that. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah, one more thing here. Just grab the andesite wall. There's going to be two of those there. And then two skeleton skulls. It's now time for the detail on the outside of the sandwich layer. Uh, two skeleton skulls here. Uh, and then we're going to do our skulls and get them out of the way. On the set of three, the first one, it's going to be skull on the right, and then again on the right for the second one. On the third one, it's going to be to the right, and then for the fourth one, it's going to be in the middle. Two skulls here next to the andesite wall on the set of four. No skulls there. Uh, no skulls here until the third one, and also the fifth one. No skulls here. One there and one there, and then this gap in the middle will be an anvil in a minute. Um, speaking of anvils... Um, We'll move on to those in a second, actually. First thing I'm going to do uh, before that is grab an iron bar. Just one of those, and that's going to be here on the set of two. And then grab the anvil now. And let's... Uh, if you're in survival, this is going to be hell, because this is so much iron. But, yeah. One anvil here, one there as well. And then anvil here, 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 and on this one. Uh, oh, no, actually, sorry, not on that one. I think. Wait. Yeah, no, that's not an anvil. That's a grindstone. Two anvils here. Skip these ones, two anvils here, and then one there as well. Final material for the detail is the grindstone. And there's going to be a grindstone here and here. One there, one there. I think that's all of them. Yeah, looks like it. And that is actually it for the detail there. It's probably one of the quickest ones uh, we could have done. I'm going to do this off camera because um, it will just take a little bit longer than I'd like. 
So essentially all that goes onto this side and we'll be right back with the next layer. Right, quickly before we move on to the next layer, I as usual forgot just a tiny little bit. It's just uh, to fill in this gap here basically, it's going to be two uh, cyan, two cyan there, and then three here, and three here, and then on my model I've done a line across there. I don't think you need to, but oh well, whatever. It's just just uh, buff up the, the block count a little bit, <laughs> I suppose. And then same again here. Yeah, sorted. That was it. That was the one thing that I uh, forgot. I don't think there's anything else. But yeah, on to, I don't, I, I don't even know what layer we're on. Um, I'll count real quick, just, just as a treat. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like layer six. Oh, yeah, on to layer number six. Right, so starting off, we go to the uh, the back over here where the trapdoor is. We're going to take uh, these materials, stone, polished andesite, smooth stone, sand terracotta, grey concrete, polished andesite stairs, polished black stone stairs, smooth stone slab, and stone brick slab. Uh, so this layer is going to be essentially kind of the top half of the sandwich, um, pretty much. So it's, it's going to be all of the slabs on the top side, and then uh, we start off the middle section as well, where it sort of raises up. So it's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, what we can do actually is finish off the engines now. Um, I'm trying to find the best way to do it, to be honest, uh, because they are top to bottom symmetrical. So obviously this can literally just go up there. Um, I might do that after I've done the rest of this layer though. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and remind myself to do that. If you go to see here at the back um, where, the, where the tail, I guess, is, do one two and three gray concrete there like that so just one past the trap door essentially then we're going to take the polished andesite stairs do those on either side and then the polished blackstone ones uh, two of those like that and you can throw away the polished blackstone stairs and we're going to take the cyan and we're going to do three and then we're going to do that by i think it's four yeah four two three four just like that so it's uh, three by four and then stone it's going to be a two by three and then sign again, two by three. And then finally, just three polished andesite. One there, one there. And then I've also done a stone block here, stone block here. So I'm gonna get all of the kind of four blocks um, and stairs out of the way, and then we'll just do all the slabs at once, because it'll be, I say easier, but it's not gonna be easy, trust me. Uh, so it's gonna be next up, the polished andesite stairs. I think it's nine of those in total, so we go to where the stone is got a diagonal like that and then do one two three four five six seven eight nine and there we go and then uh science are across of one and then stone got a diagonal smooth stone two three four five six seven so seven in total and then it's going to be a gray concrete one and then a diagonal two smooth stone and then diagonal back to another gray concrete diagonal out again and it's going to be stone by four two three four then a cyan uh, a diagonal like that so you should have this so far okay and then it's going to be stone again three of those one two three cyan there you can see it's took us right up to uh, this bit here which is good stone one two three uh polished andesite and then stone Diagonal by one, it's going to be a stone block. And then I think those might be slabs. Um, I'd have to check that in a minute, actually. Uh, so just skip, let's say, do do two cyan here for now. And then uh, do a third one, and then take the grey concrete, we're going to do two. Polished andesite, grey concrete by two. Diagonal, two smooth stone. Diagonal back inwards, it's going to be normal stone, one two two smooth stone polished andesite stairs just there and then do a stone block here and it's going to be a stone stairs uh, just there see if i can find one uh there we go so just there like that and i'm just going to double check on my other model what this bit here is uh, i'll be right back one second Right, so this bit here where the cyan blocks are is two stone stairs like that, and then we're going to take our normal stone slab and just do two of those there like that. Okay. Uh, again, for this layer, 
as it's with it being a uh, very, well not very difficult, but it's, it's very time consuming. Uh, it will just be a case of copying over onto the other side uh, yet again. I think probably not next layer, but the one after that we might be able to uh, just do everything on both sides, but we'll, we'll see um, how it goes. Anyway, carrying on, take the stone brick slab now. Um, actually, no, I said I was going to do all the full blocks first in the stairs. Mm, grab the stone stairs again. We're going to go to where this row of seven smooth stone and the grey concrete is. Do a stone stair there. Skip one there, there. And then this one is going to be a stone brick stair. Uh, so there you go. I'm just checking if there's any others that I need to do full blocks wise. Uh, if we grab our andesite wall now, we're going to go back to back to here where the cyan is on the end and do three andesite walls. Uh, we're going to do an andesite wall here and then also three there, like that. Okay. Uh, do a... Hmm, Leave that there for now. No, actually, no. Put two underside walls here. Um, and that's fine. I'll leave it like that. Um, there we go. And then grab stone brick wall. And this is just going to go there. Okay. Uh, next up, let's see. Um, where can we go from there? Grab your stone bricks there again. And we're going to do one here, just where the sign block is on the uh, end of that, there we go. Just checking for any others. I think that's all of them for that main bit. Um, if we take our stone brick slabs now, finally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think it is. Yeah, and then just a extra one is gonna go there. And that should hopefully, uh, oh, and it's not symmetrical anyway. It doesn't matter, <laughs> ignore me. Uh, grab your smooth stone slab, one, two, three, stone brick, two, and then two normal stone, and then two stone brick, and then come inwards by one, or outwards technically, I guess, uh, and then another smooth stone slab there. Take the stone slab again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, stone brick slab here, and then a stone slab there and then it's going to be a stone stairs i think yeah stone stairs facing that way sideways one and then a polished andesite stairs polished andesite block here and then it's going to be the two by five with the cyan however obviously we've got the uh, the sea lantern there so that one gets cut out there we go essentially like that do that on the uh, other side here real quick. There we go. That's fine. And then cyan block is going to go just here next to the normal stair. And then polished andesite two, two. Just while we're here, um, do a smooth stone slab there. So you should have this so far. Take the, uh, what was it? Uh, dropper. Put that in this gap here. Kind of want it facing that way. There we go. And then also the iron trap door. That's going to go top half this time. But just like that. Uh, and then essentially what we can do is, yeah, copy this up to the top. So we can finish off the engine essentially, which is good. So I'm going to do the sand there like that. That's good. And then it's going to be a stone brick wall here and here. Now, do a polished andesite stair there and there. And then what block is this? Let me ch check. Polished andesite. Yeah, good. So three polished andesite, three stem brick slabs on the top there like that. I'm doing this in a really weird order, but it does end up the same um, anyway. So don't worry about that. Uh, change these four stairs, polished andesite, uh, just so it mirrors what's down. Down there. There we go. Uh, stone brick slab one here, one there. Uh, what else have we got? Cyan one, two, and three. Um, and then it's going to be. Is this polished? No, this is cyan. Okay. Cyan one, two, three. Three stone brick uh, slabs there. 
And then these blocks. That's a stone in the middle. Okay. One stone, one there. Yeah, it's quite tedious doing this, sadly. Um, as with majority of the builds, but oh well, whatever. <laughs> uh, so this one is going to be... Where is it? I think there. Two polished andesite stairs. That one's a corner one. There we go. Just like that. But at least once we've done this, we can essentially have the engine finished, which will uh, save us a bit of time uh, later, later on, I guess. Uh, so that's a stone brick slab. There we go. And then this is going to be stone. So one, two, I think it was. Yeah, and then a stone stair there. And what's that? Slab, okay. Um, yeah, this is one of the biggest tutorials I've done in a while. Um, I do want to do bigger ones. It just wreaks havoc on my my voice. Um, is that word reeks? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Almost done. There we go. So stair there, stair there. Great. And then there's just a stone slab here. I think that's, that's everything mirrored up. Uh, yeah, it should be. Have I done that bit? What is... Uh, this is just some uh, stone brick walls. Yeah, anyway, carry on with the uh, the layer that we're actually on. Two stone brick walls there. And then on this side, it's going to be a uh, set of two stone brick walls here. And take the stone brick slab one, two, three. And is it three or four? Uh, yeah, three. Three there, and then one, two, three again. And then take the stone slab. Grab that. There we go. It's going to be two and then a diagonal three and we're going to keep doing the threes um again you can hear my voice is really going <laughs> already three and just keep going all the way across until you reach the four one and then it's going to be a two on top of the anvils and then a diagonal one there <clears throat> yikes yeah there we go sounds better now uh take the stonebridge slab one two three Stone slab one, two on the anvils here. It's going to be another two stone slabs. Diagonal two, one there, and then two stone brick ones here. So now we've got the uh, the outline of the top section, which is good. Now all we have to do is uh, fill this in, which is good. Always very fun. Uh, take the like what I did before was using just one material at a time. That's what I'm going to do now. So if we take the smooth stone slab, we'll get that out of the way. So where these polished andesite stairs are, two down by one there, uh, diagonal one, two, diagonal one, diagonal one, uh, and then diagonal, uh, actually no, before we do that, just put a single one there. Uh, diagonal backwards, one, two, three, and leave it there. Uh, do so we've got that one there that we did before. Use that as a reference, I suppose. Um, you're going to do one here and also diagonal one here. Go down there and across to the side like that. Do a set of three, one, two, three there. Three here. And then just one there. Diagonal one. And then back like that. Um, do two here. Uh, where the set of two is in that gap. A two by two with the smooth stone. Come to the stair here, one, two, one, two, three, to make four in total on that row, five overall. Uh, two here, one there, and that's gonna be it for the smooth stone. If you throw that away, take the stone brick slab, we'll get those out of the way now. One, two, three, uh, four, five, Come to here, there's a load one, two, three, one, two, three. Essentially, all this row is just a stone brick, like that. And then just a single one there. Three here, diagonal one, diagonal one, and then diagonal one again. Should kind of diagonal to where the stone brick stair is. And then another one just there, like that. Keep that diagonal going. Do three here, two, one, and then come into. 
uh, where the use that stone uh, smooth stone slab as a reference one two and then one two three four make five in total on that row and then we've done that so that's fine uh, final ones are just here and that's going to be all of them so if you throw that away now grab the polish andesite we'll get that out of the way it's going to be two here um, and then one two three four three here a single one's going to go there one is going to go in each of these gaps one two three and four two here uh, two there and I think that's all of them now the rest is all just stone so you can fill all this in uh, nice and easy you know I was watching some of my uh, oldest videos this is funny while I fill this in I'm going to tell you um, I had this like weird accent that I was using so obviously I'm English um, if, you, if you couldn't tell and I don't know, the, just go back and watch my oldest video, you can tell the accent as well as the, the tone and pitch of my voice is obviously way different because that was like, what, seven years ago now? But yeah, the just <laughs> the accent is really weird, just get, go and watch it, I'm not even going to describe it, go and watch it, uh, shout out to my old videos. But yeah, anyway, that's that's the stone section done and that is actually the layer pretty much done. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. Obviously, the engine's done now, which is awesome. And pretty much all this section here, all this wing, is is written off now. Past this layer, all we have to work with is this middle section. So that's good. Let's move on to the next layer. Get that copied over. Obviously, use the timestamp as a reference point. And yeah, let's uh, let's crack on. Right, so for the next layer up, we're going to take these material stone, polished andesite, smooth stone, science of a cotton grey concrete, polished andesite stairs, and then dark oak trap, door, sea lantern, and light blue stained glass to do this engine here. I'm going to take the grey concrete, do three of those, three of those, and then dark oak trap doors on either side, uh, only on the, the last two, so not the, not the front one. Okay. Sea lantern there, light blue stained glass. Do uh, two of those, and then also... Again, if you want to add like a, a, a trail, I suppose, do uh, two more like that with the light blue glass pane. Oh, this is cool, by the way. Check this out. I am uh, the, the the Forge Monitor uh, or 343 Guild Spark from Halo, which is, I thought, pretty cool. <laughs> I just thought I'd show that. I find it kind of neat. Take the Cyan Terracotta. We're going to do four of those and four of those again. You can throw away the Sea Lantern. And the dark oak trap door for now. My voice is still dying, but that's okay. Take the stone two, two, uh, sign again, two and two, one polished under sign on either side there. Now, uh, quickly before I forget, take levers. I'm going to go back down to like the second layer and just do them on the underside of these polished under sight blocks. Four of those, and then just flip them towards the the center like that. Just adds a bit more detail um, to that. And sadly, I just forgot it from the. Uh, from the start of the build, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Oops. Take stone brick wall and also andesite wall. And we're going to do stone brick wall on the cyan ones and then andesite wall on the stone and andesite, I think. One, two, three, four. Two andesite, two stone brick. And then this one is going to be a andesite. Do that on this side as well. Um, two. Oops. And then four, great. Uh, I'm going to do the whole layer on this one because um, it's, it's quite simple now, which is good. And we don't have to do the engines, so I'm glad I uh, got that out of the way. Take the polished underside, one here, one here, uh, two stone, and then two smooth stone, one polished underside, and it's going to be five stone. And we're going to put andesite walls on the five stone blocks. There we go. Cyan. And then stone. Then this is going to be smooth stone. Um, one is going to go there, 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 and there. So four of those in total. I'm going to take our smooth stone slabs and do those in the center of the ones we just placed. 
like that. And then also a stone block behind the uh, slabs, like that. So she get three stone blocks sort of in the middle like that. Take the grey concrete, one here, one there, and above the one we did before as well. Then take polished on the site, two, two, and this is going to be stone, uh, I want to say slabs, I think. So two there. Ah, I think it might be stairs, actually. Grab the stone stairs, do two top half ones like that. There we go. Uh, stone block, uh, stair, stone stair, there and there. And again, and then two cyan. I think I'm coming down with a cold, so sorry if my voice sounds a bit nasally. Smooth stone, um, and then cyan on the outside. Yeah, this build's going really well, to be honest. I think we're at about an hour um, in the runtime, however, with uh, any sped up clips or whatever, it might be shorter. That's the, uh, going really well. I thought it would be like three hours, but I guess not. Three stone, cyan on either side, um, and then stone block three, and three again, polish. Uh, no, not polish. What am I on about? Normal andesite walls. I wish there was polished andesite walls. Those would be uh, really good for building. But sadly, sadly, we don't have that yet. This is going to be polished andesite stairs, and this one is going to be a uh, corner one like that. Just add a bit more hall detail. Um, andesite wall there on top of the stone brick one, so it's a uh, andesite one this time. There we go. Still waiting for sideways slabs, which would be an amazing thing to use because I wouldn't have to use walls uh, half as much, which would be nice. That'd be that'd be good, but I feel like they're not going to add them, which is a shame. Two smooth stone on either side, and then another andesite wall there and there. Uh, take the stone block, or is it? I can't really tell what it is, actually. I think it's stone there and there, but then take stone stairs, do one uh, top half there, and then a corner one uh, like that, just to add, again, a bit more a bit more detail. There we go. Uh, smooth stone here and here with a stone block on either side again. Two stone, two stone. Smooth, smooth, and then a cyan is going to go here with polished andesite on either side. And then three andesite walls, three andesite walls. I think that's basically all of the outside detail done, which is good. All we need to do is the floor for the cockpit now. Uh, the cockpit was designed and made by Clone 543, uh, as with a lot of my builds. So thanks to him for this. Uh, again, the cockpit is the only part of the interior that's actually in this model. Um, it will be the same with the Mandalorian model, however the cockpit is is different. So that will be modified in the build when we get around to it. Anyway, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be it. <laughs> that's it for this layer. So let's move on to layer number. I don't even know what we're on. Um, one, two, three... Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, I think, layer nine. So yeah, onto that. Right, next layer up. Again, I'll be doing both sides, so you don't need to worry about mirroring anything over. Grab the grey concrete, three of those again, with the polished andesite uh, wall. No, stair. Wrong thing. <laughs> Two blackstone ones as well. Just like that. Throw away the blackstone stairs for now as well. Um, take the cyan, and we're going to do a 3 by 4 And then two sets of three stone. And again, you get you get the idea. And then just three polished andesite here. Take the polished andesite stairs and the stone stairs again. I'll grab those real quick, there we go. So polished andesite is going to be three stairs. Uh, stone, one, two. I don't know why I said it like that, that's so weird. Um... I'm going a bit nutty, I think. So yeah, just like that. And then stone, one, two, three, four, five. Andesite walls, five again. Um, same on this side, three, two, and then one there with the uh, andesite, five stone, and we'll do the same. There we go. Take the cyan, one on either side. And then this time we're going to take the stone and we're going to do one, two, three. Let's count this. Four, five. In fact, it'd be easy to do it a different way, but 
yeah, just bring that all the way to where the, let's say to here. I think that's where it goes anyway. Take two andesite polished um, and then two stone stairs. And this is going to be stone stairs here, one, two, three, and four. And we'll just do the same on this side uh, so I don't get behind. There we go. I think I did all that right. Yeah, cool. Uh, so there we go, fantastic. And then a smooth stone to normal stone, smooth stone. And then this is gonna be four andesite walls. Again, we'll just get that sorted. There we go, four there, brilliant. Uh, smooth stone, cyan, and again, this is going to be two polished andesite, two cyan, and then we're going to take the andesite walls, two there, and two there this time, instead of three. Uh, take the stone, one, two, three, and uh, we'll come back to that, one, two, three, polished andesite here, polished andesite here, and we're just going to take our black stained glass now, these are the sort of side windows, but they don't really have anything behind them, so you can cover these up to be honest. It's going to be a black stained glass here and here and then take a black stained glass pane and just do one there on top of the andesite wall and there you go. Awesome. Uh, yeah to cover this up essentially I just used uh, a stone slab for some reason. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why but it goes there and here and then I took stone and just did uh, another two of those. Again, don't ask me why, but they're in the model, so I've got to include them. Um, yeah, <laughs> whatever. You can also do a uh, another stone slab this side if you want to kind of have it sort of like a viewport. Um, I'm just trying to improve it on the go. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Smooth stone there and here as well. Stone there, stone there. And then this is going to be a set of three andesite walls this time. And again, three. Take the stone block, two, two, polished, polished. Two uh, stone stairs, we're going to do again one there and then a corner one. And again, same thing, just like that to add that extra detail. And this is going to be three stone brick walls this time. And three stone brick walls again. Now this is going to be... Uh, I haven't looked properly at clones in series, so I'm going to have to kind of eyeball this. Uh, I think it's an andesite stair polished. Um, curve that around like that. And then it's another stair that goes... Yeah, that doesn't work. I don't get how that... Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Um, essentially what he's also put is a polished uh, black stone slab there. It's sort of like a control panel. And then he's put a nether brick slab. However, I'm not going to use that because I don't, I don't use nether brick. Um, I'm going to instead use, let's say, let's say a polished black stone slab. And then we're going to put a iron door on the back of it. I'm changing his interior. Um, I'm sorry, clone. I know you value your interior designs, but I'm altering it. Do a black banner there and there. So I've altered your your uh, your design. There we go. Now take a uh, a redstone. I think it's comparator that you used. And that goes there and there. Just little control panels essentially for the pilots. So that's nice. And I'm going to take a stone brick wall that's going to go just here and also there. That's the start of the doorway essentially. And for this gap here, I don't know why this um, doesn't connect, or it does connect, that's the problem. So I'm just going to put a polished andesite block in there, just to uh, have something in that gap. Polished andesite on either side here, and then sign in the center, and it's going to be a uh, andesite stairs on either side, polished, and then a stone brick stair right in the middle. There we go. So, fantastic. Um, I think I think that's everything for this layer. 
Um, again, another fairly simple one. It doesn't really get any more difficult. We've already done the hardest part, which is this middle section. So, yeah, it's been a good build um, so far. <laughs> let's move on to the next layer and, yeah, let's keep going. Right, next layer up, you might as well keep the same materials. I've just grabbed a dark oak trapdoor, though, um, instead of the stem brick wall, I think it was. Do two dark oak trapdoors there. We're going to throw that away and swiftly grab an iron trapdoor. We're going to do a top half iron trapdoor just here in the center and then go one backwards. So you should have two so far and then go diagonal on either side. That's going to go there. Um, and then it's going to be... God, I can't even count that. What is it? Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like that. Take the stone brick slab. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Two stone slabs and then two stone brick. I'll make it three stone brick actually. There we go. And then it's going to be a polished andesite and then polished andesite stairs on either side. Uh, another one with the uh, polished and then two stone. And then take the polished andesite stairs again, two of those. Stone block, one, two, and then across by five in total. Uh, same again here. Like that. Two. Two. And then one there. Brilliant. Grab the andesite walls, another five, another five. Cool, and then it's going to be cyan. One and two. Stone, two, two. Polished one, polished one. Smooth stone. Take stone brick block. I don't know if you've used that yet. Um, so we'll grab that out of the inventory. There we go. It's going to be two stone brick. And then a smooth stone. And then a cyan. And then a polished stone brick. And then this is going to be a stone stair here. And also there. And then two stone slabs next to it, like that. Then two polished. Two polished. Another uh, stone stairs. And then two cyan to finish that bit off. And then just grab the stone, uh, smooth stone slabs actually, we need those. Four go on top of that, and four on top of that one. And that's fine. So now what we need to do is cover up this section essentially. So if you grab your stone, uh, stone block, and we're going to do five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Two cyan, and then a smooth stone, and then one, two, three polished andesite. Take a stone stairs here. That one's a corner one. Now if we go to the... I'm trying to work out best to do this. Go to here, right at the back. One. And then uh, two, two. Two cyan. And then two stone. It's going to be one stone here, one stone here. Take the stone stairs. And we're going to do one there like that. And then one, two, three. Corner that one. And I think that's all the, all the, uh, what do you call them? Stairs. <laughs> Grab the normal stone slabs and we're going to do one, two, three. Uh, and then polished andesite slabs. It's going to be one, two, three there like that. And then this is going to be light grey carpets. Nearly missed those. That's a good thing I didn't. There we go. Now again, we'll do this on the other side, um, on camera. I'm not in any rush. So there we go. One, two, three. And we'll just do this. There's five there, two cyan. You can talk for a little bit while I mirror this over as well. Um, let me know what you think about the potential of unnarrated tutorials, because I could do much bigger things if I didn't have to talk the entire way through. Um, I know the majority of uh, like tutorial makers do that already where you just don't you don't talk you just have like on-screen narration essentially which is uh it's an idea i've just always always done it this way 
So, yeah, let me know what you uh, potentially would think about that. So, like I said, it's just an idea. Uh, almost done with this. There we go. There's one there. And then I think there's something here. Yeah, it's two cyan terracottas. Just like that. Okay, I think that's all, all mirrored over now anyway. There we go. Now, if you take your stone block again, we're going to do one here. Uh, next to that cornice there. So one on either side. Two, three. Two, three. Grab the stone brick wall and do two of those. Um, take the polished andesite that's going to go here on top of the one before. Stone block on either side. And then a stone stairs. Oh, no, it's an andesite stairs, sorry. Polished. Um, have, we, have we got one? There we go. That's going to go sideways. Sideways. And then this is going to be the, the glass window, essentially. So it's going to be one, two, and one, two, and then one there. And then take the glass pane, one on either side like that. And yeah, that's that's the uh, the cockpit glass, essentially. So there is a, a door here, um, but I've sadly cut it off the model, so I don't know what it's like. Um, I'm going to say it's polished on the site. Uh, two on either side, and then we're just going to use, uh, let's say, light grey concrete uh, for the middle. Like that. So, yeah, we'll continue that in the next layer anyway, um, and cap that door off. But again, there's nothing that it goes to anyway, so, oh well. Uh, another thing, um, the, the Gazanti in the Mandalorian um, is like, there's no way the interior could exist within that amount of space. I mean, this is Essentially the size of the Gazanti and the Mandalorian anyway, and there's like hallways upon hallways. Well, where are they? Where? <laughs> where do they go? And so maybe it's maybe it's bigger. I don't know, but we, I guess we'll probably not know for a while Anyway, that's uh, gonna be it for this layer Again, so that's good. We're nearly nearly at the top and uh, Yeah, it's been a good build so far. Like I said, let's move on to the next layer all right, again, next layer up, we're going to go right to the back here where this trapdoor is, do a single stone brick stair, take the sign terracotta, the one there, and two at diagonals, and then stone brick walls on either side there like that. So we're now starting to rise up um, towards the top of the tail, essentially, of the ship. So grab your stone block. Now we're going to do uh, just one all the way across, essentially, um, right, to the, right to the end, right down here. That's fine. Take the smooth stone, do three, and three again. Polished andesite is going to be four, and four again. And then it's going to be cyan, four of those. There like that, and again, four of those. Um, bring the stone up to where that is. Take the stone brick walls, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. Take the stone block, and we're going to do five across um, to join those up like that. And then two smooth stone here, two there, and stone, stone. Three down there to cover up that gap, and again three there as well. Take the smooth stone, two, and two. Polished andesite, two. Again, and then stone block on either side. This is going to be a stone brick stairs going inwards, and again there and then it's going to be a cyan on either side this is going to be a normal stone stair so that goes there like that and we're going to do two polished on the side and again one smooth stone one mm, nope no don't do that stone bricks instead <laughs> there you go stone block cyan um, and it's going to be a polished on the side and then two stone bricks, two again. This is gonna be a upside down uh, stone stair, there we go. Like that. Then a polished andesite either side, normal stone block, two cyan, and again. This time it's three stone there like that, and three stone again. Two smooth stone, two uh, cyan, one smooth stone, one polished, and then two stairs facing inwards. Those are stone ones, by the way. 
coming back to here, take a stone brick slab. Um, there we go. That's going to be just there. And there as well. And then we're going to take grey carpet this time. So not light grey, just uh, normal grey. We're going to do one of those here. And also skip two, do one there. Same again. And then we're also going to grab the iron trap door once more. And that's going to go two there like that. And again, two there. And that essentially finished uh, uh, these side bits, which is, which is good. Get those out of the way. So now essentially all we're working with is this strip down here, which is nice. If we go to... Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I've not missed anything. Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Right, to the front here, if we take our stone block um, at a diagonal to there. Again, it's fine. We can uh, start on the cockpit now. Um, sort of starting off the roof, essentially. Take the polished on the side stairs, do two of those facing inwards, and two again. Also, I checked clone's design for this uh, door here. If we knock these out and do two light grey concrete and two again, and they're three on top, then take the smooth stone and do two there. Um, add another cyan just here like that. And then we're going to take a black stone button. That's going to go there in the middle. And then just one more light grey concrete on top. Um, and that's, that's the door. So, <laughs> yeah. And then another stone brick wall just there like that. I'm going to do a smooth stone slab um, just next to that. If we grab one, there we go. There and there. And then a top half stone slab here and here with stone stairs, or is it andesite? Yeah, it's andesite, that's fine. Andesite stairs sideways, and then a corner one is gonna go just there. Uh, can't even do it, hang on. There we go, <laughs> there we go. So just like that. And then it's gonna be a, a cyan terracotta in front of that. There we go. And then this is gonna be two smooth stone blocks there and there. This is going to be a andesite wall in the middle. So just like that. Um, and then finally it's going to be a... Uh, one second. Stone. I think it's a block of stone and then a slab like that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, from there that's uh, it's going to be it for that layer. So let's move on to the uh, to the next one. Right, so again, next layer up. Um, I, I'm completely lost on which layer this is now. It'll be displayed in the uh, bottom left of the screen. <laughs> so just check that out. Three stairs there. We finish off the uh, cockpit on this layer, which is good. So yeah, you got three there, three stone, um, and then do two cyan on either side. This is going to be a stone block here. I'm trying to remember exactly how his cockpit went. I think it's a stair like that, and then a slab, and then he's a grey concrete there but then another stone stair here um, and then it's a uh, what is it what is it it's a stair I think there and there like that and then a um, mm, I think it's a stair there and a stair here yeah once we're past this bit then it's a uh, smooth sailing but until then struggle Polish on the side there and here as well. And then, yeah, we're past the cockpit now. That's good. Stone on either side. Um, stair there, stair there. His cockpit is good, though. Um, I'm not very good at interiors, I'll be honest with you. That's why I rarely ever do them. Two stone, two stone. Um, two smooth stone. And then it's going to be two cyan. And then we're going to take our stone block and just go all the way along here. We're going to leave it, uh, let's say, where this smooth stone is, um, just because there's a bit of detail on the outside that I want to do first before we take it any further. So if we go back to the start of the stone here, do two stone slabs. That's going to be a, uh, let's grab, uh, where's polished? Polished, uh, there we go. So two um, slabs, obviously, then a stair, stone stairs here, polished on the side stair, two stone brick ones, and it's going to be three stone ones three polished ones and then finally uh, just skip one do two stone slabs this one's gonna be a stone brick slab um grab one from down here uh, there we go then again on this side uh two 
Staying once we're there, I think. Yeah, it should take you just one short of where we uh, finished off, so. You'll know if you've done it right um, by using that. There we go. Yeah, this build isn't even really difficult. There's just a lot of materials. That's the that's the problem. That's always the uh, the kicker when it comes to builds um, like these. Uh, so I went <laughs> way too far with the stone, but that's fine. All we need to do is just knock out the one next to the uh, stone brick slab and replace it with a cyan terracotta. And then also delete this one, this one, and do two smooth stone on either side. A stone, and then two more smooth stone. And then do a cyan terracotta on top of the one we did before. Uh, also a cyan here, cyan here. Three stone blocks three stone blocks uh, and then three stone slabs stone one two three four and four again and then smooth stone two two normal stone two there like that and then what we can do now is just take our cyan and there's a lot of this so uh, yeah one two three four three here four here uh, do a andesite wall grab that and that goes just there and there as well and that starts off the the upper turret essentially so yeah just bear that in mind polish on the side here and here cyan there and then start here and do a stone brick stairs with a cyan two three and then this all just gets filled in with cyan lovely stuff nice and easy and yeah from there that is uh oh yeah one thing just delete this cyan terracotta from here. It's uh, this is where the the, uh, the sensor radar dish thing goes. So it's only on one side, so you only need it there. And yeah, that is uh, going to be it for that layer. So let's move on to the next one, and we are very very close to being done. All right, so next one up, grab a grey carpet to start with. I'm going to go to here, skip one cyan, and do one, two, three, four, five, and then three stem brick slabs. Gonna take our uh, anti-side walls again. One there, skip three, one there. Uh, do another one here and another one here. All right, and then from there, sorry about the junk, by the way. One, two, three, four, five with the polished anti-side. And then stone slabs on each corner. These are gonna be top half stone slabs, so make sure to do that. Basically mirrors uh, what we have down here for the bottom turret, so yeah. <laughs> from there, right, let's go to here. And we're going to do a uh, set of three stone stairs, if I find one. There we go. One, two, three. Corner it, corner it, two polished underside stairs. And then one, two, three, one, two, three with the blocks. Three stone behind that. And then just fill this in with snoo uh, smooth stone, four of those, and then two stone blocks. Uh, past there, we're going to take our stone again. This is going to go all the way, all the way over here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way to the front. Um, and then just leave it about there for now. We're going to go back to uh, where we were before. Take the stone stairs. We're going to skip one here and just do two and two. And this one's going to be a stone brick one. I just need to uh, grab one from there. And there as well and then on this side only where the the cyan is there obviously we're gonna take our stone brick wall do one there take the stone block again I'm gonna do one two three I think it's six um or it might be five I can't tell I think it's five actually hmm yeah we'll try it with five there we go and then cyan smooth stone um, four Polished andesite, stone, two cyan, one stone brick. There we go. Four smooth stone, two stone brick stairs, um, and then stone stairs one and two. And then grab a smooth stone slab and do two of those. Two more stone uh, there to join those up in the middle like that. And then we're just going to do this on the other side as well. Um, so I'll quickly uh, copy this over. 
just found out that um, Prince Philip of the UK has, has passed away. That's, uh, that's sad. Yeah. Big shame. Uh, too polished andesite. He did well, though. I mean, he was, what, 99, I think? Yeah. Uh, smooth stone there in the middle, and then another stone there. Three stone here. Two cyan, two stone... Uh, cyan there as well. Two stone in the middle. I'm getting uh, a sidetrack there. One um, stone here. Yeah, we did it right. There we go, that's good. Because it's a uh, stone stair there, and then three stone slabs on the front. This is going to be polished andesite stairs here. Two of those like that. Two of those like that, and then just replace this one with a polished andesite as well. And there we go, that's... Uh, yeah, that's that's everything, I think. There is one um, thing on my model, I'm not sure if this is relevant or not, but just put that as a uh, polished andesite instead of a stone. I don't know why it's there. I think all that line gets covered up anyway. But it's on my model, i got to do it. That's, that's the rule. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be the final layer I believe so let's uh, yeah let's move on to that all right so we're gonna start off at the back here and we're gonna take our smooth stone block do one there and then it's gonna be a stone brick wall we're doing the turret the exact same as the one underneath so it's gonna be a dark oak fence gate there and then two end rods very close to the end there it's exciting stuff and then it's gonna be levers facing towards the it there like that there we go uh, this time because we're on the top side we can use uh, carpets so I'm going to take some light gray carpets and put those on the corners there like that okay go to the uh, stone brick wall that we did before we're going to take a stone brick stair and then a cyan and then a uh, stone brick wall on the side of that there and there do a stone brick stair upside down on either side. Uh, I'm lost. There we go. <laughs> one there. And then sideways ones like that. Stone brick wall. It's going to be a dark oak fence gate. And then just one end rod this time. And uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, finally, just grab an iron trap door. That's just going to go on the top of that. And that basically finishes off the, the radar and also the turret. Now all we have to do is finish off the body. If you take your smooth stone slabs, we're going to go to the section here like that and do three. And then at a diagonal, three and three. Take your polished andesite slab and we're going to do three of those just there and three of those just there to cover up the gaps. Then in the middle, it's going to be uh, stone brick slabs. Three of those here. We're going to do full block of stone, two on either side. And then take your cyan, we're going to do two. And then a two by three. And then one, two, three, four, five. Three. Three. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Join that up. And then two more on the front there like that. Grab the smooth stone full block, and we're going to do three here. And again, and then two stone. In this gap here, it's going to be stone. And there, stone as well. On the front here, it's going to be two stone brick slabs, if we grab those from uh, down there. One and two. One and two. This is going to be a stone slab. If we grab uh, one of these, there we go. Um, we're going to do one, two, uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, seven, so it's going to be nine. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and then take the smooth stone slab, seven, and seven there as well. Grab the iron trap door again, three here. And then a light grey carpet is going to go just in front of that to round off the front of the ship that looks awesome and um, coming back to here now take a polished andesite stair grab that and we're going to put that just here that's a little fin on top of the uh, on top of the ship take the 
stone slabs again. We're going to do two uh, there, and then a stone brick one. And then we're going to take our stone stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two stone brick ones. And then carry on with the stone stairs. One, two, three. And then two more stone ones. We'll just do that again on the other side. And I think that finishes off the build. Um, so once we've done that, we'll have a uh, quick look. So that's a stone brick slab. There we go. And then two stone slabs. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much finishes it off. To add a little bit of extra detail, this isn't on my model, um, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I guess you could do some carpets here to sort of give that a, a little bit more roundness, or even change that one to be a trap door. Um, that would just give a little bit more more roundness for the uh, top side there as it, as it slopes down. You can do the same here as well. Um, there you are. Uh, anything else that I could add? You can always, as with a lot of Imperial stuff, just litter the thing with buttons, stone buttons and, and black stone ones as well. Um, just as like tiny little tiny little details. I'm not going to do it now, but definitely something you can add if you want to. Uh, I'm going to jump cut here, and what I'm going to do is add the one-to-one -one scale TIE Fighter model onto the underside of this, lift it all up, and then uh, put shaders on so you can have a uh, overall look of the build, essentially. So, yeah, I'll be right back with that. Right, so here you can see the Gazanti carrying uh, four TIE Fighters underneath. Now, this is this is very funny. Um, I actually realised that the feet underneath um, are not long enough for the TIE Fighters. I, I, I don't know how that happened because I know I've added these TIE Fighters before on the underside. But yeah, essentially all you need to do is just add an extra block to the, to the feet. Essentially all I did was uh, move them down. As they were and then just add a cyan with four andesite walls surrounding it and the tie fighters fit pretty much perfectly um, you can see all these temporary blocks ignore these um they're not meant to be there but that's that's fine i don't mind um yeah this was a good tutorial i i expected it to be a lot longer than it was and yeah i think it came out really nice uh, i don't know if this thing can hold 8080 models i'm, I'm not sure about that yet um I'd say probably probably not um, as it currently stands. I think it would need more mods um, for that. So I, I will add that into the uh, into the like Mandalorian version of the ATAT. Uh, not ATAT. Oh my god, what am I on about? Of the Xanti, where I'll probably be doing like multiple different versions in one video based off this design. And I'll I'll fi find out a way to add the ATAT underneath. So yeah, that is uh, going to be it for the video. Um, you can find a link to the TIE Fight tutorial. I want to do um, those those card things that appear on screen. I'm, I'm going to try and link that in the top right, I think it will be. Um, I've never done them before, so... Yeah, it should be on the screen at some point around now. Um, so you can go check that video out. But yeah, anyway, this is this is the full thing. A very, very big ship. And I will see you in the, uh, in the next video. Have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Massive thanks to all the current Patreon supporters who help make content such as what you just watched possible. Please check out the link in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel. There's awesome rewards on offer for your contributions too. So thanks!